Hi, today we will look at AWS Solution Architect Associate Real Certification Questions. This is the part 15 of this playlist. Please remember there are two playlists. You can refer questions in both the playlist. They are still relevant. This one is the latest playlist. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It takes a lot of effort to create these contents. All attempts are made to make sure that accuracy is the key. Please focus on the concepts. The chances of same or similar questions coming in the exam is very high. Please pause the video and let's look at this question. There is an EC2 instance and a DynamoDB database. Both of them are in the same account and we need to give a solution where with the least privilege EC2 can access DynamoDB tables. This is an easy one. The reason I'm saying this is out of all these four options, only one is correct and it is very easy. Let me explain you how. Option B, the reason I'm moving with option B is because option A is the correct answer. See, option B is talking about trust relationship policy. This is used in terms of if you have Active Directory on-prem and Active Directory on cloud, then you set this trust relationship. We never set trust relationship for connecting EC2 on cloud to DynamoDB on cloud. So this option is totally wrong. Now option C suggests store the credentials in S3 bucket, which is crap. You never store any credential anywhere because that is the most unsafe option. So this is cross. And D is also cross because what you are suggesting is store the IAM credentials on local storage. You should not do that. It is not the best practice. So it is very easy. No confusion. A is the answer. Why? Because you are not storing any credentials anywhere. You are making use of IAM role and appropriate policies. And then you are creating an instance profile. And then you are assigning this IAM role to the EC2 instance, to this EC2 instance. This is my final answer. Let's move forward. You may pause this video here, read it carefully. See, there is an application on EC2 instance. So this is your EC2 instance, and this is your application, the small box. And this application stores its data in DynamoDB. You see here, it stores it in DynamoDB database. Now there is another application, and this application is on premises. Okay, this is on premises and this communicates with an API to update this inventory. Okay. Now, what is the problem? The problem is this application sees outages. So this application goes down frequently and as well as there is these applications, they result in missed transactions. So why missed? Because if suppose DynamoDB goes down, then the update fails and there are missed transactions. Always remember, if you are a doctor and someone comes to you saying that I have a stomach ache, I have a headache, then the doctor knows precisely where to look at. What is the problem? Similarly, we as doctors of the system, we can clearly say if your system goes down due to outages and you are losing transactions, plug a middleware system, something like SQS. This is my right answer because it's very easy. A, B, and C are not even using any sort of middleware applications or messaging applications. Only D uses that. As a doctor, I will tell you, if I store my data in SQS, even if the database goes down, my data is not lost. Simple. I got my answer. So this is my final answer. But let's still look at other options. Option A says you write to a local database. You already had DynamoDB database and then you will create a local database, which is crap. Wrong option. So what will happen is your local database has to be synced up with DynamoDB every time and it is going to, you know, it is not a cost effective solution and it will again have missed transactions because sometimes this is in sync, sometimes that is not in sync. See, Lambda will not help you. Lambda is used as a cost reduction solution to process the data, but using serverless is not the issue here. Okay. It will not solve any problem. You have to store that data somewhere. Similarly, see, it says you will configure API gateway to call 
inventory application APS. Yes, but what if if any of the in that puzzle, if any component goes down, your data is lost. So you will also al always have to consider SQS or any middleware application, messaging application. Please pause this video and read the question. You have an EC2 instance and the application on EC2 instance will access the DynamoDB table. This is the question. What is the most secure method of doing that? Simple. The most secure method is wherever I will see VPC endpoint, this is the most secure method. Simple. Use this as a thumb rule. See internet gateway. Internet gateway will take your traffic outside for internet. It is used only if you want to do that. Here you have to, your applications are private, right? You are already using private subnets. Why will you use anything which has associated with internet? This is wrong. And why will you use anything which has public in it? This is option is wrong. Now I just have C. C says use a NAT instance. If you see this description, you can pause this video here and read it carefully. Basically, what it is saying is the NAT instance, you use it when you are yourself in a private network and you want to send traffic to internet, then you use NAT instance as a mediator because you have to interact with people on the internet. In this question, do we have to do anything with internet? Just ask yourself both the EC2 instance that is this one and your DB2 or DynamoDB instance both are in private subnets you don't have to go to internet plus the question is saying without allowing the traffic to exit the AWS network internet is out of question C is wrong this is my final answer people please hit the subscribe button and the like button for more such informative contents this brings us to the end of part 15. Remember, there are two playlists. This playlist is the latest one. There is one more playlist on AWS Solution Architect Associate, which is the old one, but the questions are still relevant. Stay tuned for the next parts.